six, nine, Hello there YouTube, today we have a really exciting video about the Bamboo A1 Mini combined with the AMS light system. I always wished since I got this printer that the footprint of the printer was less than what it originally is and that's why I designed this setup that makes it much smaller footprint printer. So I've been testing it for a while now for some prints that came out that came up really good. I had to see if the AMS system was going to wiggle the printer too much when it's on top of it. It might be a bit top heavy, but the system works flawlessly when it's uh, retracting and feeding the filament into the system. The PTFE tubings are almost like made for it. And as you guys can see that the PTFE tubing are reaching the hot end perfectly. You have four parts, which one of the parts has to be cut into two in Bamboo Slicer. When you cut it into two, you have to add connectors to it so you can fit it right up together i'm talking about this part here i don't have a printer that is larger than 300 by 300 so i couldn't print it in one so i had to cut it maybe some of you guys do have a printer that is like 400 millimeters by 400 so you guys would be able to print it at once compared this printer which is a betzlinger like the prusa mk 3s plus which is sitting right next to it they look similar now now that there is a bridge that's been holding the AMS light system, which saves lots of space. This video is sponsored by PCBWay.com, the world's go-to supplier for premium custom circuit boards. Tell us what you need, then let us design and manufacture your PCBs to the highest level. Low print runs and 24-hour turnarounds with assembly starting from just $5. Get an instant quote and join our online community at PCBWay.com. So here are all the parts that you need, which is this one is a side bar, as I told you, which you have to print with connectors. And then this comes like this. You push it in. So you have two bolts here. And on the finished version, you have six bolts right underneath, which are all M5 by 25. The holes are made for it and the lengths are also perfect for it. So if you have M5 by 25 laying around, they will fit perfectly. And the top portion, which is this one, you can take this portion out of there. Why did I design it this way? It's because, let's say you need to take your AMS system out of the gantry at its hole, then this portion here is fixed to the AMS system. So you just take this portion out and your AMS system is free. Well, except for the PTFE tubing and the cable for the AMS powering. But other than that, this is the system. There is a gap in here, which is around five centimeters that once you're finished with taking your AMS system out, you can just push back in. And this portion here is the portion that you have to take out of the system, which is this part. So you take this one with one bolt here out of the system. And then this is what's underneath it with three bolts. You take this one out as well. And then you can fit in this part in, in its hole. Three bolts here and one bolt in the front. And that's it. It's really rigid. It stays on there. To mention what the dimensions of this whole unit is in its hole with the printer and everything inside, it's 76 centimeters tall, which is 30 inches tall, and 46 centimeters or 18.1 inches wide, 45 centimeters of 17 inches deep. That is counting with the bed going inwards and outwards. So that's the dimensions if you want to fit this into a cabinet or whatever. I have also printed it without the AMS light system being on top of the gantry, which is this print. 
this came out also really nice and we are going to compare this one with the AMS light system on top of the gantry to see if there is any deviation in the print or not so now we have the two printed parts which came out of this bamboo a1 mini this one is uh, with the ams light system on top of the gantry and this one is on the side of the gantry which is the original way of using the ams light system so when we compare these two they are identical there is nothing that is interfering with your printer like the lines and everything are same it's perfectly matched so seeing this result i think this is a successful project and any of you guys who want to print this it takes around 13 hours give or take to print this this is a really sturdy design so when you move this part you do see a little bit of wiggle on top of it but that's fine giving that this printer does wiggle without this uh, setup as well but it's all in the acceptable margin of wiggling of this printer so guys yeah you guys decide whether you want to make this setup or not if you ask me this really is a, a space saver and i really like it i'm not going to go back to the original setup as as far as this is working it's it's just great i chose a really nice coloring so it blends in with the printer itself and i don't really see that this printer didn't come out of the factory like this even though it didn't so it does look like this is the finished product from from bamboo lab themselves so guys if you want to download this it is on the uh, maker world you can download it from my account i'm gonna share the link in the description below make sure you share some pictures on my discord you everybody is welcome to come and share pictures of this setup that they make i did remix this part which is like the design that holds well itself to the ams light system and the bottom part is my own remix i hope you guys like this project that i made and that you guys are going to make it yourself as well especially if you need the space that is saving you on the left right back you name it wherever you put your ams system on most of the time it's on the right side so uh, hit the thumbs up if you liked the video hit the thumbs down if you didn't like the video subscribe to my channel if you would like to see more content like this in the future bye